Hello everyone, welcome to the SBI Securities Weekly Wrap Podcast. First, let's discuss how the markets have been in the week gone by. The week saw a flurry of interest rate decisions from global central banks. Indian markets managed to close in the green as Nifty ended above the psychological mark of 22,000. The broader markets, after a deep correction during the previous week, rebounded to some extent and outperformed the frontline indices. The recovery during the week was largely supported by favorable global queues as US markets scaled to record highs. The momentum was supported by the outcome of the Fed's FOMC meeting, where the interest rates were kept unchanged at 5.25 to 5.5% range, and the Fed chair reiterated that three rate cuts are due this calendar year. The overall outcome was positive as the Fed has also upgraded the GDP growth outlook for the US economy for CY24. Global equities were further supported by a surprise rate cut by the Swiss National Bank which cut interest rates by 25 basis points to 1.5% while Bank of England kept its interest rates unchanged in line with consensus expectations. The Bank of Japan ended the negative interest rate regime after a gap of 17 years and has increased the benchmark interest rate from a negative minus 0.1% to a range of 0 to 0.1%. While overall market ended on a positive note this week, the IT index dropped 5.5% during the week post Accenture's second quarter result where the company has lowered its revenue guidance for FY24, citing lower client spending. The development has raised concerns over the outlook of earnings from IT companies in the upcoming fourth quarter earnings season. Talking about the weekly sectoral gainers and losers on the BSE, so the Realty Index was up 5.3% for the week, followed by the Metal Index which was up 4.9%, The auto index also rallied 4.2% and the cap goods index was up 3.4%. The power, the PSU index, healthcare index were also up between 1.5 to 2.5%. On the losing side, the FMCG index was down 0.5% while the biggest loser as highlighted earlier was the IT index which was down 5.5% for the week. Talking about the weekly gainers and losers on the Nifty, So uh, Maruti Suzuki was up 7.5% following news that uh, there could be a GST rate cut on hybrid uh, vehicles. Tata Steel was up 7.1%, Bajaj Auto was up 7%, Apollo Hospitals and Aisha Motors were also up between uh, about 6.5%. The top losers were naturally the IT stocks, so Infosys corrected 7.7%, Tata Consumer was down 7.4%, uh, TCS, Wipro, HCL Tech also losing between uh, 55 to 7%. Uh, taking a check on some key monetarables, so FII's net sold 3,340 crores for the week and DII's net bought 15,586 crores uh, for the week. This week also saw uh, uh, Tata Sons uh, selling a stake in TCS as well as uh, there was uh, the OFS in Aditya Birla Sun Life AMC. So you have to take that also into account while seeing these numbers. The rupee depreciated by 0.8% to 83.6 and closed at uh, all-time uh, lows amidst strength in the uh, dollar index. Uh, Brent crude was stable at 85.9 after rising midweek to about $87 uh, dollars per barrel. Coming to the uh, domestic and global economic updates, so uh, string of central bank actions this week. So the US Fed uh, kept its uh, interest rates unchanged and unexpected lines. And the Fed chair also reiterated that three rate cuts in CY24 uh, are on the line. And uh, the Fed also raised the core uh, PC inflation forecast to 2.6% from 2.4% uh, previously. The Swiss National Bank, as highlighted earlier, surprised uh, the markets by cutting the uh, rates by 25 basis points. The Bank of Japan uh, ended the negative interest rate regime in uh, Japan. And the interest rate in Japan now stands at 0 to 0.1%. 
the bank of england kept its interest rates unchanged uh, and uh, is widely expected to indicate that interest rates could be cut in the uh, coming months following news that the inflation in uk is falling faster than expected among the major corporate developments this week so hdfc bank uh, completed the sale of its stake in uh, education finance am hdfc credila for 9553 crores and the stake was sold to private equity uh, firms bpea qt and chris capital so uh, neutral for hdfc uh, bank BHEL backed an order to set up a 1600 megawatt Singroli supercritical thermal power plant uh, stage 3 from NTPC so that's a positive uh, BHEL uh, Gensol Engineering announced the commissioning of a 10.6 megawatt rooftop solar project at uh, Trident's uh, textile unit in MP so neutral to positive for Gensol Engineering Ambar Enterprises has uh, entered into a new uh, business segment so they have entered into a 50% JV with uh, Telangana based Radiant Group uh, OEM uh, for uh, manufacturing fully automatic uh, washing machines so this is a new uh, business line for Ambar Enterprises diversification of the business and uh, will be positive in the long term for the company Musgaon Dock the company has signed a 29 year lease uh, for a land parcel from the Mumbai Port Authority and uh, this is for a land and building on a long term lease basis for 29 years so expansion of capacity for the company and the total uh, allotment will cost 354 crores for the company so positive for Musgaon Docks in the long term Real estate company Prestige Estates uh, acquired 62 and a half acres of land parcel for 468 crores in the Delhi NCR region for an integrated township so positive for Prestige Estates uh, Aeroflex Industries increased its uh, installed uh, capacity of uh, metal hoses to 13 and uh, 0.5 million meters per uh, annum in phase 1 expansion uh this capacity will be further increased to 16 and a half million meters in phase 2 uh, so incremental capacity uh, for the company and uh, it's a positive for aeroflex industries Aurobindo Pharma also received a US FDA approval for a nasal uh, spray which has a large addressable market uh, in uh, North America so positive for Aurobindo Pharma as well this week we have given uh, two uh, calls so first is uh, pick of the day uh, we have uh, amended apj surendra park hotels at the uh, market price of 200 rupees with a target of 230 rupees uh, this company is a recent listing and is the eighth largest hotel chain in india in terms of affiliated hotel rooms inventory it operates 30 hotels across 20 cities in which seven uh, hotels are owned by the company three are operated on a lease basis and 20 hotels are being managed through operation and management uh, contracts uh, the company has about 2298 uh, keys and its uh, food and beverage revenue contributes to around 40% uh, percent, uh, to uh, the total revenue Uh, occupancy levels are also uh, pretty high so about 90% during the uh, third quarter uh, fy24 uh, it also has uh, further expansion plans and uh, at current price the stock trades at uh, annualized fy24 uh, consolidated pe of 65 times and on fy25 basis it is at 55 times respectively so that's the pick of the day call update coming to pick of the week so we have recommended itd cementation at the price of 307 rupees with a target of 353 rupees this company is among the leading epc players in uh, india undertaking heavy civil and infrastructure projects its order book as of december 23 stands at 20825 uh, crores which is 2.9 times 9 uh, months fy24 annualized uh, revenue in the 9 months the financial performance also has been uh, pretty decent with a revenue growth of 58% ebitda growth of 93% and profit growth of 113% yoy and revenue in fy25 is expected to grow at 20 to 25% so at current price stock is trading at 20 times fy24 and 14 times fy25 uh, consensus estimates 
so that's the pick uh, pick of the week uh, call update market outlook next week so next week will be a truncated week with only three trading sessions markets will remain shut on monday due to holy and on friday for a uh, good friday due to absence of any major economic uh, development or uh, data flows we expect market to remain uh, range bound and global queues will play an important role in driving the investor sentiments for corporate actions for next week uh, f- uh, kindly refer to our weekly wrap report the link to view the report is uh, shared in the description box below this was all about the weekly m- market podcast thank you for listening wish everyone a happy holi thank you investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing